Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 94. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, here we go. Let's go, lad. Let's fucking go. Probably shouldn't be swearing this soon into the video because technically this would be like within the first minute. Oh well. Uh. I don't care. Ow. He's made contact with my behind, thank you very much. I follow you. That was extremely unstable through there. Yeah, um, what were we talking about in the last, last clip? I can't remember what we were talking about. Game modding. Yes. I hate modding games. I really, like, I obviously bought the PC with the intention of playing games with unlocked frame rates and modding them and making them cool because there are mod modded games that I like the look of that look awesome I couldn't get on with modding games I found them too much of a hassle and I know the enjoyment of modding is spending the time to get something working and all that not my cup of tea I tried modding Fallout 4 and playing that and although okay it was alright it was still frustrating trying to find mods for Fallout 4 that were actually good. Um, Fallout 4, it was a pain in the arse of finding mods. Minecraft was just a pain in the arse in general. And then, um... What's the other one? What was the other one I was looking at? I've forgotten, chat. Me no remember -er. I set a call, sir. We're literally just fucking talking about it. Um, AC was all the above. And then there's also the risk of being like banned and shit like that if you mod. Especially if you mod something like Need for Speed, there is the potential you can get banned because that's an always online game. But yeah, modern's just not my cup of tea. That's why I also think if a game requires you to mod it for it to be good, it's not really a good game. Because the game itself isn't good. It's the modded work that makes it a good game. So for example, Assetto Corsa, I really don't think is a good game on its own. I think you have to rely on mods. And therefore, it's not really a good game. It's the modders that have done a good job of making it a good game. It's the same with Minecraft, really. Minecraft's not a good game. You have to rely on the mods to enjoy it. And that's not to say there's nothing wrong with modded a set of Corsa or anything like that. Like, yeah, it's a good game when you mod it. It's just the base game itself isn't that great. Because you have to mod it to enjoy it properly. Um, yeah. Very good, very nice. Probably need to stand up at some point, actually. My leg's a little bit dead. Oh, what the fuck. I took too much curb. 
I was greedy. I didn't share with no one but me, myself, and I. Hey, welcome back, Wolfie. Bop, bop, meow. Meow, meow. This is the song that I would love to do an outro for a video with. Like, this as an outro song would be awesome. Dead Mouse, let me use it. Come on. I'm begging you, man. Let me use it. Like, I kid you not, I'd probably end up using this as, like, a permanent outro song. If I could use this. Nice. I find coffee in the freezer for way too long. How can you leave your coffee in the freezer for too long? You either... Left... Here's the thing. If you're leaving your coffee in the freezer, you're leaving it in there to freeze. Once it freezes, it's frozen. It can stay in as long as it wants. It's frozen. That's how freezing stuff works. So, by the implication of you sticking coffee in the freezer for too long, means you didn't want it to freeze. Which then also adds the implication of, you're a lunatic, why the fuck are you sticking coffee in a freezer if you're not freezing coffee? <laughs> that smile, though, that's fucking brilliant. Wolfie is a confirmed lunatic. He sticks coffee in the freezer. <laughs> oh! Oh! Okay, that wasn't good. Feel at home, feel at home, feel like nothing is true. When I drink coffee hot, I almost throw up. So why are you sticking it in a freezer? Why are you sticking anything hot in a freezer? You don't stick anything hot in the freezer because it defrosts the stuff that is around. That's already a red flag. Then it brings the temperature up of the freezer, which isn't good because it needs to be cold. And then on top of that, just leave it on the side for five minutes. Or make your coffee and then add cold water. 
You know, the thing that brings the temperature down. What is the coffee in a freezer? You don't... You put boiling water in the coffee, but then you make something. Unless you're drinking like a neat espresso. Like, I, whenever I make, like, an iced coffee or whatever, I will have a boiling hot espresso, but I'll pour it in to the cold milk and the ice, because that then makes a cold drink still. It's still cold. Oh, shit. I stopped him. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe for an entire lap I've just taught someone how to make coffee. <laughs> Might have been more than a lap. <laughs> he sticks coffee in a freezer! God, that blows my mind! I think you need less than zero IQ for that. <laughs> you got a negative 0.1 IQ. I just realised I ain't got a front bumper on this. I'm also very confused. This is a race car. And it is the exact same as what the M3 GTR in Need for Speed looks like. So where on earth did the player, because it's the player's car. Where on earth did the player end up getting a race BMW from? That's what I want to know. I think we've got two more races after this. And then we is done. I'm probably gonna pop to the loo after this one. I have not been in a couple hours. I literally have not stood up in two hours and 45 minutes. So, oat milk is so fucking good. Why has it become a trend to just milk everything that exists? Like, why do we milk everything? <laughs> ah, look. Let's milk some oats. Let's milk some almonds. Let's milk some soy. Let's milk some hazelnuts. Let's, m you know. We just milk everything in the modern day. Milk isn't even that special. It's a weird thing. Ugh. Let's go! Ba -ba 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 right, level 5. Nice. We got a 10% discount on twin screw superchargers. Woohoo! Very nice. Jack and Jones, are you Kevin Magnuson? What do you mean? What, does Kevin Magnuson wear this shit as well then? <laughs> He's sponsored by them. Did not know that actually. But yeah, Jack and Jones are quite nice, actually. They got some nice quality shirts, t-shirts and stuff like that. I got this. Uh, this t-shirt obviously is like a... Um, what's it called? It's like a two-tone t-shirt. But it's also got a matching hoodie as well. Yeah, I've got a hoodie that's basically exactly the same two-tone. Literally exactly the same as this, but in hoodie form. 
uh, and a pair of tracksuit bottoms that match it. So, that's sort of like my nice casual clothes. I've got like three levels of clothes. I've got like fucking casual, nice casual, uh, and then casual going out, which is slightly better, but it's still fairly casual. And then smart. So, got like four levels. I love this song. The entire of the, um, when two worlds, is it two worlds collide? Something? I think that's what the album's called. Hang on, let me double check. doesn't say oh, you prick. between two worlds that's it not when two worlds collide between two worlds uh, that entire album is fucking amazing except for the between two worlds song which is kind of ironic because it is literally the album song like the title song don't like that I do but it's on Tidal. So, oh yeah, I forgot to message you. That's what it was about anyways. <laughs> ah, shit. Rest in peace, bozo. Nice. Yes, put a like on my... They've actually only just started doing profiles on Tidal. Because before, it was just... You sort of had a login. Um, you could find playlists if someone shared the link. And you could add them to your profile. Like, add them to your stuff. But y you couldn't find a profile. And it wasn't easy to just search up playlists. But now they've got, like, actual profiles. And I believe you can search up playlists and stuff like that. So... I'm very happy about that. So Tidal pretty much... That was the one thing I didn't like about Tidal that much, was the fact that um, playlist discoverability wasn't that great. Unless you were directly given a playlist, you couldn't find it. Um, which, by the looks of it now, you can actually much e more easily find playlists by searching up profiles and shit like that. Which is really good. Um... Yeah, so the main crux of it, Wolfie, is I have three Tidal accounts up for grabs. I pay for six because I pay for the family premium stuff. But I, I don't use them all. And I want to kind of use them. So I feel like I'm getting my worth out of it. So uh, if you send me your email and I'll, I can add you to it. Even if it's for a couple of months till you get your own plan. I can set up that one up for you. Because I have three accounts going. <laughs> They're just sat there. Because no, nobody else in my household actually wants them. So... <laughs> They're just sat there. <laughs> they are just sat there. Uh, Discord. Keep it off of Twitch, because that's a public platform. Even though I made the topic of, like, privacy, nothing is private on the internet. Obviously, you still want to keep 
private things more in DMs because that way it's um, a lot harder for that stuff to be publicly available. But <laughs> yeah, anything like emails should. What do you mean about that privacy? And go, leave our worlds behind. Baby, I just wanna get it right. <laughs> you have none of it. I mean, as soon as you're on the internet, privacy is out the window, unfortunately, in modern days. But there are levels that you can do to make sure stuff is more hidden than others. Like, a public forum means it's public. A private message means it's public, just a lot more hidden and you have to root a little bit deeper to find it. But nothing on the internet is private. That's why I, I hate private messaging as a term. Like, you know when Instagram and Facebook have, like, private messages? They're not private messages. Like... I prefer the term direct message because it's just a message that goes directly to someone else. But a private message is, is, is not private. The only part correct in that sentence is message. <laughs> so, but direct message is the more appropriate term. Just take this slow, I hope that you don't mind. Baby, let's drive into the night. <laughs> Getting your data stolen message. It's not even stolen. Like, it's being made publicly available. Like, the internet is just an, a connected network of devices. That's pretty much what it is. Your date is probably in a million different places at once as soon as you join it. <laughs> Public robbing. <laughs> Public thievery. Let's get all fancy with it. <laughs> oh my god. PlayStation has just revealed that they've got grey camouflage coming out. I don't know whether it... It's the first time I've seen it and it looks awesome. They've got grey camouflage headsets to go along with the black ones that they've done. Um, controllers and side panels. Which actually does surprise me that they've done it with a headset as well because most of the other colours they didn't do for the headset. They only did black. So to do the camouflage on the headset I think is pretty cool. That is a pretty nice looking thing. Car behind is 4.692 seconds behind us. Oh, I've just stubbed my toe again. Fuck! Baby, let's drive into the night. Just get up and go. 
leave our world behind. I can't get my voice that deep, and I can't get it that high either. I'm like in this awkward middle ground that nothing sounds good. <laughs> Could see into your mind Even if I Try to see We got a lot more motivated to play Forza when I'm watching the game I'm playing That's fair enough actually, to be honest Um When it comes to Me I'm a lot more v motivated to play something when I'm watching a TV show at the same time. I have no clue why, but I've only just realized how much more motivated I get playing games when I'm watching a TV show. Like, when it comes to actually gaming, I start watching stuff like YouTube Shorts and shit like that. And obviously Shorts, because of the format, you have to be active on your phone so one thing that I've been doing is sort of putting like Amazon uh, what's it called Amazon Prime I've been watching a couple of Amazon's shows um, Big Bang Theory was a big one that I started on Mr. Robot I'm in the middle of at the moment uh, I'm watching Young Sheldon on Netflix as well that one's more for when I'm downstairs, though, because it's not actually my Netflix account that I'm using. But I have been watching Young Sheldon. Uh, and I've been watching this one that I saw on um, YouTube Shorts as well. I know it's, it's going to sound weird, but um, it's a show called Two Broke Girls, and it's just fucking stupid. <laughs> There's some, like, dumbass humor in it, and it's really funny. Um... It's obviously, like, American humour. But, like, there's a shit ton of, like, sex jokes and shit like that. Which is, like, kryptonite for me. Like, anything that's just vaguely along those lines. <laughs> just fucking watch it, because I don't care. <laughs> I like having a good giggle. Hee <laughs> hee. The only part I wouldn't believe out of that is the way that I read that out sounded like I would go to the gym. <laughs> which is not true. <laughs> I, I definitely don't go to the gym. Fucking look at this. <laughs> I don't need it. I'm fucking ripped. No. I'm a fat bastard that needs to go to the gym. <laughs> but in the modern 2022 style... I'm probably going to get cancelled because apparently I'm fat phobic because I don't like the way that I am because I don't... <laughs> Fucking, I hate 2022. I hate the body positivity movement. I hate it. I'm a fat guy that hates it. Imagine that. <laughs> it's just such a weird movement. It's like, you should be happy with how you are. You are healthy. No, you're not. I'm not healthy. By all means, be happy about who you are, but don't fucking promote. Like, I'm fat for a reason, because I'm depressed. <laughs> like... <laughs> there isn't any, ex like... If you're fat, you're fat. It doesn't matter. Like, you shouldn't be treated differently because you're fat. But at the same time, you also shouldn't be promoting being fat as if it's, like, a good thing. It ain't good. <laughs> it's just a, a weird, weird movement. Like, by all means, you, you shouldn't feel bad because you've got more pounds than the person next to you. Like, that part of the body positivity movement, I understand. But it's the, the part of it that's like... It's all... Hey, you're healthy the way you are, it doesn't matter. No, you're not healthy. You can be happy, 
Just not healthy. I still keep thinking about that news story, though, of this body positivity woman who was, like, fucking four times the size of me. She was massive. And she was like, I'm healthy the way I am, it doesn't matter. And she died at, like, the age of 40. Because of her obesity. It's like stuff like that. Like, these people that spread around this body positivity saying, It's healthy. You be yourself. What not? Like, no, it's not. It's killing people. Like, the, the body positivity movement. Like, uh, originally it used to be like, Yeah, let's get plus size models. Like, yeah, that's fair enough. No one should be like excluded from something just because they're a little bit bigger. Other than, I suppose, airport seats, like, by all means they can get into an airport, but if they fit in two seats they should pay for two seats, that makes sense. Like, it's obvious. And roller coasters. Like, if you can't fit in what is the safety harness, can't really go on the roller coaster, can you? But again, it, it, it you know, you shouldn't be treated differently because you are bigger. But at the same time, you shouldn't be promoting it and being like, "Yeah, it's good, it's healthy," because that also is a bit shitty. And to uh, go back to your question, what year is the most optimal for you without bullshittery? The year before TikTok. 2017 was the last year where there just wasn't random bullshit. Because you had all these, like you had LGBTQ existed and all that. You had all this stuff before. But it was reasonable. It was... People were doing it because they genuinely felt like that was them. You know? Now, because of the age of TikTok, where you can have any idiot record... Like... Uh, granted, YouTube, still, any idiot like me can record stuff and whatnot. But TikTok was just so easily consumable and so easy to send the right stuff to the, the right people that you then get people who join trend wagons like they will join a trend no matter what and there are a lot of people that join all sorts of trends and obviously like pronouns were never an issue until about a year ago when everyone decided everyone needed to identify as a pronoun or not, but they had to choose. That, I mean, I understand, but it confuses me big time. Like, again, I'm, I'm not going to go to someone and say, like, I don't respect your pronouns, so that's not right. But I also don't understand, like, when people invent pronouns and make up their own and expect you to use them. Like, I understand the three basic. The three basic ones that the English language has always had. They, them. He, she. No, he, him. She, her. You know. Those have been, like, the basic ones. But, like, inventing... There are some people that have, like, 17 different pronouns. And I don't understand. Can you not just pick one? Like, if you don't like he, and you don't like she, just they will do, won't it? I just, I just don't get it. Just baffles me. Remember the time um, before 
TikTok when people would joke around, like, did you just mis misgender me? And everyone used to piss about and be like, you just assumed my gender. Everyone used to do that in school and all that shit. Well, that's actually become real life now. <laughs> that's really fucking cursed. <laughs> oh. That's so bad. <laughs> but that's how the world became. Like, we used to joke about it before, and then it literally became a thing. And now it's become a thing that everyone has to worry about. Not that I worry about it, because I'm like, oh, I don't care. I always think if someone has to have a conversation and, like, the first thing they say is, like, by the way, my pronouns are this, I just instantly know the conversation is going to be about them. Instantly. And, out of the multiple conversations I have had, that seems to be correct. <laughs> it's just, like, by all means, it can be, like, a conversation point. But when it comes to, like, straight up, What's it called? Making a big fuss out of it. And making you seem like a dick because you forget or whatnot. Like that, that's pretty bad. Like I've fallen out with a couple of people because they have like different pronouns and I've forgotten. And they're like, you're being a dick, you keep forgetting. No, I got fucking ADHD. My memory can barely remember my fucking breakfast. <laughs> Although it can remember today, I didn't fucking have any. So, result. <laughs> but like, it's... Yo, M1, what up? How are you today? It's a very weird world. A very touch and go. Without the touching. Because otherwise you'll get cancelled. <laughs> Just go. The world is very much a just go world. <laughs> I'm doing good, M1. I'm doing good. Thanks so much for asking. <laughs> My pronouns are alpha male. Like, I, I obviously understand people may want to identify as something else. That is fair enough. But identifying as something that has never been human is a bit strange. I know in about 10 years time I'll probably get cancelled for this. Guaranteed. In 10 years time they'll, they'll think, oh that's like humanist. Where you're being racist against humans or something. Something stupid. But they'll invent something and try and cancel people for it. That, that, that's cancel culture. It's just so bad. Like, ooh, here's something that I don't agree with. Let's invent a problem that it's going against and then cancel them for it. Like, that's literally the whole point of cancel culture nowadays. Like, I really don't like Keemstar, I'll be honest. <laughs> Yo, Kodo, what up? I'm, I'm not a fan of Keemstar. I don't like Keemstar. But he's obviously said some things back in, like, 2010 and stuff. Like, I think it was back in 2019 he got proper cancelled because people found videos that have been publicly available all these years anyways. Like publicly available videos that anyone can go and find they have been up for nine years but because people were like actually this is the same guy that did this we must cancel him but they never did it for the nine years before that it was just fucking stupid yo Kodo oh my god <laughs> so much noise Kodo, thank you very much for that gifted sub, my man. Appreciate it. Uh, fuck. Hype. 
Yeah, thank you very much for that gift to sub to Pandy Chan. Very nice. Gonma. What the fuck is Gonma? And why is it gonna kill me? <laughs> I can only assume Gonma is something that is gonna kill me. Gonna lurk playing Hunter Call of the Wild. Is that that, um... I don't know, is that that open world hunting game that came out? I'm not sure. No, that's something else, isn't it? No. Yeah. No. Maybe. I don't know. Alright, well, I'm done racing today, so I'm just gonna get my photo mode and fuck off now. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.